What's going on everyone? This is my first ever full length YouTube video on this channel and today I'm going to be showing you all my fish room and I'm super excited about it. Okay, so it's not technically the fish room, it's actually the living room and I have fish tanks along the corner but uh, the fish are the most important thing in here. So yeah, it's the fish room but it's also the living room. Alright, so here we are getting started with the UNS 4.6 gallon. I love this tank and this is the first thing that people see when they come into my apartment because it's right by the front door. So we have a number of plants in here. Firstly, we have the Anubis Nana Petite, which is on the hardscape here. Next, we have Dwarf hair grass, sort of as a foreground plant. And we shoved it between the rocks to kind of add a little bit of detail. And lastly, to complete the whole look, we have Valisneria, which I'm a huge fan of. The way the Valisneria grows in this tank, it's coming up and then it goes over the top and covers the water and then it starts coming back down. And I really love the way this looks. It frames everything in and it just looks amazing. This tank is stocked with three Otosynclus catfish, which I love. They're great allergy eaters and they're very peaceful fish and just they're very calming to watch and I love them. So yeah, that's this tank and I really like it. So moving on to the first tank on this cabinet, this is the Guppy Squad tank. It's home to three lovely, sporadic guppies that are hyper <laughs> they're crazy and this tank is also home to neocaridina shrimp as well as two hill stream loaches which feed off the bottom so the tank has been going for a while now it's been going for about three months now and everything has been going well it's been growing in like crazy so we have pothos growing out of the water we have some water lettuce on the top we also have some duckweed and on the bottom we have embulia valicinaria Hygrophila and Gustafolia. Overall, this tank is doing incredibly well. It's the longest running that I have currently. All right, so moving on to the last tank that we have in the cabinet. This is a UNS six gallon as well, but this is a wide shallow tank. This tank is home to a beautiful honey gourami, which I love. His name is Winnie the Pooh, and he's probably the cutest fish ever. I love gouramis. I think they're really fun to just watch, and I love how they just kind of explore and look at everything in the tank. They're very curious fish and they're just fun to watch. We have a wide number of species in this tank when it comes to the plants. We have pothos growing out of the top, you know, just like all my other tanks. We have Anubius nana petite, we have lobelia, we have red tiger lotus, we have rotala, we have valcinaria. And then there's this plant back here that I don't remember what it's called, but I got a cutting of it from one of the fish I bought. It was just in the bag and I decided that I was gonna propagate it and it has grown like crazy, so. Yeah, I don't know what kind of plant it is, but it does well in this tank. So as much as I love this tank, I kind of want to scrap it and do something bigger. I kind of want to keep the same composition here, but I want to scale it up essentially. And the reason why I want to do this is because honey gouramis, they can be by themselves, but I kind of want to get two more honey gouramis just so he doesn't get bored. I think if I'm going to scrap any of my tanks and rebuild, it's probably going to be this one. All right, everyone, that is the end of the fish video. Those are all the tanks that I have in my fish room slash living room, whatever you called it. And this is my first long YouTube video on this channel that's not a short. So if you saw it on your suggested page and you ended up watching the whole thing, thank you. Like, thank you so much. Seriously, I'll be damned if anyone watches this video. So, and I wanna make more long form videos. I wanna make aquascaping videos. I wanna make mini documentaries about fish and wildlife and all that stuff. So thank you everyone. Bye-bye.